This is crazy. The crazy from Florida continues. A man who's being identified, <laughs> this is so absurd, only as Mr. Hayes, is flying a Ku Klux Klan flag in Boca Raton, Florida. A reporter from Local 10 spoke with Mr. Hayes and asked, why do you have a KKK sign that says members wanted on it? And he said, well, as many people know, the white families are producing less children because the mother and father work and you have these interracial marriages and gay marriages. So there are less and less white children being born every day. And we're against that. He says that flying the flag is about freedom of speech. Oh, boy, here we go again with the freedom of speech confusion. He went on to say, hey, nobody stops the Puerto Ricans from flying a Puerto Rican flag or the Jews from wearing yarmulkes or whatever it is during the holidays. Now, of course, this is a ridiculous comparison. Mr. Hayes may not be swayed by logic, but I will tell you that the KKK flag, unlike the Puerto Rican flag or a yarmulke, is not related to a nationality nor a religion. It's a flag related to a hate group seeking to affirm its white racial dominance and white supremacy. So the analogy is bogus. Mr. Hayes, I can't believe I'm calling him that. That's the only name we have for him. Mr. Hayes claims that the response to the flag has actually been overwhelmingly positive. He says we don't get anybody throwing bottles on the lawn or anything like that. They toot their horn. They stop. They wave. They take pictures. He also has a noose <laughs> hanging in his front yard. But he says the noose is not at all about condoning violence. No, because the KKK doesn't do that. He said, and this comment really um, calmed my concerns that this guy might be racist or anti-gay or anti-black. He said, we don't go around con committing hate crimes. We don't beat up on faggots or, or black people or burn crosses or any of that nonsense. I'm, I'm glad he cleared that up now that he told us that the KKK doesn't beat up faggots. I think that this is a perfectly upstanding citizen doing just nothing but expressing his sovereign free speech rights. Yeah, there's uh, I mean, this is all over the place in Florida, <laughs> all, all over the place in this country, really. But uh, Florida just seems to have a higher concentration of nonsense like this. Yeah. So uh, are you satisfied, Lewis, by him saying that they're, they're, this is the, both the noose and the KKK flag are not at all indications of any kind of discrimination or violence? Well, uh, I guess we have to take him at his word that he doesn't <laughs> go around beating people up, at least not until he does. Uh, but uh, I still consider him to be incredibly racist and bigoted. Of course, how could you not? I'd love to talk to some of the people he says are waving and beeping their horns and, and just thrilled with what he's doing. Those are neighbors I would like to talk to in Boca Raton, Florida. I actually have a, like a great aunt by marriage who lives in Boca Raton, Florida. And uh, I, I wonder what she would think of this. I wonder if she's one of the people cheerleading. Somehow, I think not. Let's take a break. Coming up today, we have Hatriot Mail. We will talk about self-professed homosexuality and so much more. Glad you're with us on a Wednesday. Big, big show coming up today.